Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga. And today I'll be showing you one of the interesting games that I played with the Karukan defense. Now this started off with e4 and I respond with c6. Open plays d4, I go for d5. And instead of taking care, open proceeds with the pawn on e5. Now this is the advanced variation where the opponent has advanced the pawn. And the best move is to play bishop f5. Uh, trying to develop a bishop and then close the diagonal. Open plays knight f3. I play e6. And now open plays bishop d3, trying to develop the light square bishop and preparing to castle. Uh, here we exchange bishops. Open and does take back with the queen. And I play uh, knight d7. Now knight d7 is, uh, is my general way of playing because then I'll play pawn forward to c5, trying to break open the c file here. My opponent gets the bishop out onto g5 and I place my dark square bishop onto e7 trying to exchange them which my opponent obliges takes and I take back with the queen uh, with the ideas of giving a check next maybe uh, opponent uh, plays knight to d2 and I go with uh, c5 still trying to break open the c file opponent plays c3 trying to defend the center for the by playing d4 uh, by playing c3 i went with c4 here trying to kick the queen backwards queen goes back onto c2 and now i go for b5 trying to defend this pawn further trying to make a solid structure uh, which means the position is closed for a longer period of time open goes for a4 trying to break it open uh, and I push the pawn here, b4, asking open to take. And my open does take, which allows my queen to come on b4 pretty early in the game. Open and castles, seeing that my queen has come towards her side. And I get my rook onto b8, pressurizing the pawn on b2. My open tries to defend with the rook onto b1. And then I develop my other knight onto e7, preparing to castle. Here my opponent plays b3, which was bad because I don't have to take here. My opponent was threatening that the opponent might take the pawn next. And then suddenly I have pressure on the queen and the rook. Uh, but what happens next is I play c3. Now, as soon as c3 is placed, uh, black has to figure out where the knight goes. And basically the knight doesn't go anywhere. The knight is going to squares, which are already covered, or is going to go on the squares, which are, again, being hit with the pawn. So that's what happens. Knight goes to c4, and I take on the knight. Opponent does take back, and I simply take on the pawn, because there's no last rank weakness. After opponent takes on the rook, I can take back with the knight. And once my opponent gets the other rook, hitting my knight, I simply castle and this is completely winning position. Uh, opponent played a knight to e1, trying to maneuver the knight. And then without me thinking further how to destroy him, the open resigns. So the open basically went too quick for the attack initially, trying to dislodge my pawn and pressurize my queen without thinking and lose the knight and then the game eventually pretty quickly. So don't make moves before thinking of a further couple of moves at least so that you are in the game and you don't lose it immediately. I hope you like it. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some another interesting content. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.